But this is also there. The third thing is this drawing and other things. So likewise, we have to create a tabulation for sorrow, for pleasure, at the time of work, challenge, demand, competition, isolation, discussion, inspiration. Wherever we get, we have to convert them into exercises. And through exercises, we can increase our ability. This is the first model, first exercise. This is a very casual. And mantra and other special practices are not meant for initial levels. This is very easy and possible for all, number one. Number two, I want to say about three forces. One is a rough work. Second is a minor work. Third is a major work. It may differ from person to person. Some person can have a major work inside his mind with more creativity, a rough work in paper or somewhere else. Second work. Or a minor work with a computer, with a Maya software, Coral Draw, CAD, everything, etc. So a person can have a major work in the mind, a minor work in writing or processing, or some sort of rough work in the machine. Or a person can have a rough work in the mind, can have a minor work in drawing or any other accessorial representation, can go for a major work with a software. So a person has a rough sketch, a minor sketch and major sketch. All these things are very essential. And there are three types of special learning for graphics. One is suggestive learning. Second is subjective learning. Third thing is objective learning. We should not show the books of any graphic software. We, we, we should not give the CDs also. Either giving the books or giving the CDs and asking the people to work is nothing but making the funeral for inter innate intelligence. Suggestive is to check their natural intelligence as well as their natural inclination or proclivity to go for designing. They must be given suggestions. What do you suggest? What do you think about these things? And second is this subjective learning. You should not give any jargons or terminologies. You write everything. Have you understood them? Then after that type of subjective learning, if you give the jargons, they will be memorized more easily. So you must understand things. Whenever you go for terminology, whenever you go for complex structures or complex nomenclature, you forget even easy things. Easy things are somebody told. Gita is very easy. But the commentary written for Gita, that is very confusing. So in most of the areas, the real stuff will be very easy to digest. And in the pretext of explanation, exposition, demonstration, elucidation, illustration, they will mix a lot of things and make it more Herculean. It will make it as a daymare instead of a nightmare. What is the difference between daymare and nightmare? Books are daymare and devils are nightmare. Is, is that the thing we have to do? So I cannot implement anything in other institutions, but still the, I think that I am so much uh, privileged as well as potential enough to create an institute where I can implement, implement those things because I am having my own sovereignty and command in my own areas. So this type of uh, subjective, suggestive learning is you should not take anything etc. What do you feel about graphics? I am feeling like this. What do you consider about my feeling? These are all suggestive learnings. If you go for one hour of suggestive learning and half an hour of your graphic or any software learning, in that half an hour you can earn the knowledge of two hours of your tra traditional learning or technical learning or coercive learning. That is the thing, you must go for a suggestion. Second thing is subjectivity. That is, you go for the concepts, you go for the real understanding of the concepts instead of saying about the terminologies or about the complex or intricacies inside it. And the third thing is objective. You directly, without the aid of any software, ask them to work manually with their own strength. For example, I want to say something. Each and everybody at an inert level of intelligent proportion. It is known as inert level of intelligent proportion. They will be having 0 or 1 or 2. They will be in the level of 0 or 1 or 2. Directly, if they are connected with books, directly, if they are connected with softwares and applications and learning, it won't be matching at all. You ask the person to be objective. For example, give them a prism, ask them to draw like that. Or ask them to do with real objects instead of mechanical drawings. If they start doing with that, they will be raised to the level of 10 or 15 by which they can directly be a good competitor or to compute with the computational devices. So this is known as objective learning. At least in the six months of learning or three months of learning, 10 days should be for self-suggestion or intra-suggestion or group suggestion. 10 days should be for subjective learning without teaching any terminology, without teaching any complex or intricacies, 10 days should be with the objects. Afterwards, they expose them, they can catch quick fire and they can learn it as a 
crash fire course immediately it will be made it will be imprisoned in their impressionable mind that is the greatness of that type of uh, wisdom so three types of learnings are there one more thing i want to say it is a very wonderful ideology which nobody should have generally thought of it is known as coherent action for example if somebody is playing a mridanga then automatically you may be seeing their next movie giving an adjacent or adherent or coherent bhava or expression to that of the percussion instrument you might have seen jagir hussain and other people that is over movement ha huh? but each and everybody that may be natural to him whatever we consider uh, as something more than a real or scale emotion may be a scale emotion for somebody else we cannot fix any scale of emotion that you should move only 2 inches right and 1 and 1/2 inches left we cannot say that it comes out of one's own emotional expression you cannot restrict it but there is a movement huh? it is a perc- whenever you operate a percussion thing naturally whenever there is a melodical note whenever there is a musical expansion or expression automatically there is a coherent motion here likewise whenever great people are singing you may be seeing the mouth is singing so lips have to move why they are moving their hands as per the tonic scale they are saying ah they are moving the same thing they are moving the same thing right and left they are moving the same thing up to down then down to up you tie their hands they cannot get that benefit they cannot get that type of depression they cannot get that type of gravity density and depth that is possible only by a coherent motion likewise whenever you think things whenever you think about things there is a coherent motion of your fingers and whatever you are doing with the mouse is a standard play motion there are two types of motions one is a specific motion second is a play motion wherever you are catching the mouse and moving here and there like this doing all of this thing this is a play motion there is operation for your finger and other things where you are creating it is not a metric motion is it is an asymmetric motion you are moving like this whenever you are drawing you are doing like this this you are doing all symmetric motions are being done so naturally your thoughts should come in the form of drawing and technical operation prevents your coherent action if you start with coherent action so what i want to say is if you are so bold if you are so confident you can be a good competitor of 3d studio max without the essential need of a software if you are not so bold if you are concerned about your future profession and other things if you are concerned about your immediate placement and promotions and segment of life you can do your work which i have already told make a rough work by having this type of movement it is known as complementary learning or complementary designing what is a complementary designing the more you work with your hand whatever you are doing there that will make your attention and implementation more in the technical screen if you work here and work there you just test somebody if you work here and you work with the screen there your performance with the with the screen will be more enriched you work in the screen then create the same thing for your own specific motion of your arms for coherent action you can have your own writing skill you can observe that it has been enhanced so it complements to each other you are hand writing coherent action that is inherent action coherent action so thinking and writing that facilitates you to have your boosted technical implementation your technical practice boosts your writing and drawing skills so this type of a, a triangular coordination of inherent coherent and technical methods of rough major or minor working which you can select between any things of your choice that will make you boosted in your presentation in your thinking in your finest way of presentation without lot of confusory permutations then rubbing and giving and other things so one more thing i want to say from the shastras is strain gives you more induction in knowledge boosting and manifestation